Season three starts now. Gun Gossip is brought to you by CMMG, makers of my new favorite, the Resolute. Drama-free ordering, drama-free customer service, and drama-free at the range. It runs like the scalded dog. Pick yours out today and your favorite color of Cerakote when you order over at cmmg.youknowwhat. I'm Gun Drama Johnny and this is Gun Gossip, your one source for all middle-aged man gun channel drama. Well, the BOA is back and folks in the industry already seem very excited about it. Gun Drama Johnny. Hello darkness, my old friend. Gun Drama Johnny? Is that guy ever done? So it's been a thousand days since we've been together. A lot has happened. Probably the biggest one is that Kentucky Ballistic Scott literally blew himself up and then brushed it off like it was absolutely nothing. Tis but a scratch. So since I've been gone, the gun collective's John Patton has moved from his usual well-manicured self and sort of morphed into some sort of Cro-Magnon woolly booger. Until he locates a pair of scissors, we're gonna call him Captain Caveman. Captain Caveman! Okay, that's an old reference, kids. Finally, in the change category, Mr. Guns and Gear on the range has moved from a regular floppy hat to this season he's wearing just the finest of the extra, extra floppy hats. I know it's a must have summer trend, at least for me. And finally, some things don't change in the industry. Donut Operator is still in the game in the last thousand days. He has not made a single public appearance sober. Oh, look at that, 0 0.10. Time for a little drinky poo. Cheers, genitals. Mm, mm, mm. And now our Jack Wagon of the Week. This one goes out to Tank Girl's bitter old aunt who says, I am a gun-owning Army veteran. I do not have an AR-15. No civilian should own one. If you need one for hunting, don't hunt. I support gun control. I support background checks. I support banning assault weapons. I support gun insurance. I support age restrictions. Give it to him, Gunny! You jack wagon! And now our pick of the week, it goes to the warrior poet, John Lovell. Look at this masterpiece. Yeah, you know what that calls for. Drama Lava, go! Woo! Make me lose my up in here, up in here. And something you may not know is the warrior poet and Mrs. Warrior Poet have embraced the inner yee-yee and they have moved out to the country. Green Acres, we are and on their farm is Mr. Napoleon Brownapart. I don't know the genus, the phylum, or the species, but he is a little small piece of whirling dervish beehole nonsense, angry little rooster, and the only way to keep him from attacking your feet is to give him a swift kick upside his noggin. Mrs. Warrior Poet was recently on Instagram doing some yee-hee, yee-haw, hillbilly red neckery. Yeah, I embrace all of this. Check it out, see it for yourself. <laughs> Not bad, Mrs. Warrior Poet. For that, I give you the coveted double woo. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, this is my buddy Instagrammer Blueberry Hill. She recently showed up on Instagram rocking some serious Americana. Say it with me, y'all. U-S-A. I think that calls for the American flag shotgun guy. Go! Get some! And now our oh yeah of the week. Reno May has somewhat stopped wearing a shirt on Instagram, and to that I can say, all right, all right, all right. But he also showed up with a hot little number. This is Mrs. Reno May, and to this pick we can all say, oh yeah. Okay, y'all remember how the Grinch had a heart that was two sizes too small? Well, YouTuber Fit and Fire Mark has apparently switched to wearing shirts. Anyone? Yep, two sizes too small. 
And this week we say congratulations with Grand Thumb and Mrs. Grand Thumb. They just welcomed their fourth child into the world. A big congratulations to both of them and their family. Four children. Four children. Let's get it on. Let's and that's all your middle-aged man drama for this week. I'm Gun Drama Johnny. I'll see you next time on Gun Gossip. This gun fits my hand better than this one does.